This is Bill, my level 3 skiller. Being level 3, we get to skip out on all the sweaty PVM and PvP content and work on what really matters. Skills. Starting from scratch, our goal is to reach level 99 in all non-combat stats aside from Slayer. So sit back, relax, and go chop some trees or something, because it's time to do some skilling. What's going on Bozo Nation? Today we're going to switch things up a bit and actually focus on training some Slayer. How, you may ask? By completing every possible achievement diary as a level 3 skiller. Now when completing an easy achievement diary, you're rewarded with an antique lamp worth 2500 XP. The only outlier here is Karamja, I'm assuming because of the Karamja gloves, where it's only 1000 XP. And with 8 easy diaries completable, we have plenty of XP coming our way. Now I'm looking forward to doing some combat, we're definitely going to have to kill some monsters, use our poison dynamite, you guys know the deal. But if you're impressed, or just want to uh, show a little bit of love to yours truly, feel free to send a like to celebrate each diary being completed, or subscribe to really go above and beyond. But that's enough intro, let's get started. Before we begin, we need to visit the Varrock Museum, and actually clean some finds for some antique lamps to pop us up to level 30 Slayer as the reward lamps we're getting for the Achievement Diaries require level 30 as a base level. The already easy diary is straightforward with one exception, enter the combat training camp. To do this, we need to kill a level 13 mortar, which means we'll be using our poison dynamite for the very first time. All right, we have our very slight range bonus of 20. Honestly, when I put the leather back on, it'll probably be up a little bit. And uh, we're gonna see how effective this poison dynamite actually is. So, hoping for the best. I don't have a uh, fucking, I don't have a tinderbox. I don't have a tinderbox. Oh, nice, thank God. And just like that, Biohazard is complete. No real reward except for the thieving XP. But now, we're able to finish up that uh, that easy achievement diary. And that's our first achievement diary completed. We're gonna go ahead and just save this antique lamp because uh, I wanna open them all at once. I want it to be pretty uh, climactic. The Desert Easy Diary. The more difficult task will be to kill a vulture, open the sarcophagus and pyramid plunder, and to collect five potato cactus from the cow fight hive. To access pyramid plunder, we need to start Ichlorin's little helper, which means we need to do Gertrude's cat. So yeah, we have some more questing to do. Wow, this quest is just so fast with teleports. Absurdly fast. The anticipation was killing me. There's Gertrude's cat complete, giving us a little bit of cooking XP and a brand new kitten. Now we just need to raise this guy. Oh, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I need to go to some pretty dangerous areas, and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep my lamp if I die. Like, I know for a fact I need to go down by where the cow fight workers are. They're a really high level, and I don't want to lose this lamp. It's just way too valuable. So even though I wanted to save it, let's go ahead, before we do this, put our lamp into Slayer for, oh, two and a half thousand. I didn't think it was that much. Bringing us up to level 31, almost 32 Slayer.
Now my last two steps, I need to enter Pyramid Plunder and of course sell off an artifact I get from it. We have to wait until this little bastard is grown, so we're just going to move on for now. The Valley Easy Diary is the simplest one so far. With only a duck to kill and Doric's quest to complete, we should be through this in no time. There's Doric's quest complete, giving us, uh, hey, 1300 mining XP. Yo, how many times am I... How many times am I gonna forget the tinderbox for this goddamn poison dynamite? I'm so sick of it. Another achievement diary down, that is the Falador Easy Achievement Diary. We just need to talk to Cerebral right over here, get our genie lamp, our genie lamp, Jesus, antique lamp, and since we already used the other one, we may as well just keep going as we get them. Straight into Slayer for 2500 XP and level 33 Slayer. The Kandarin Easy Diary is slightly more difficult than the others, requiring us to kill four monsters the Earth, Air, fire, and water elementals. Luckily, they have a low max hit, and we have plenty of dynamite, and the other tasks are super easy. All right, that's one out of four down. Very nice, two out of four complete. Okay, apparently he's just not poisoned. No, no way I just did this. Oh my god, what a waste. God damn it. Please don't hit. Nice. Well, we narrowly avoided disaster there, but that's three out of four done.
And there's four out of four elements defeated, which I'm pretty sure like unofficially makes me the Fire Lord. Just saying, I don't know. I just finished watching up the live, watching up, watching the live action avatar. So that's just in my head. Done with that. Let's talk to the wedge outside Camelot Castle and we'll be all done with the Kandran Easy Diary. And now speaking of the wedge makes it official. The Kandran Easy Diary is completed. Her, I've completely forgot that we get some like items from this. Kandran Headgear 1, but most importantly, another antique lamp, which is going straight into Slayer, bringing us up to level 34 and so close to 35. The Garamja Easy Diary is not easy at all. The hardest task is to kill a Yoger or a Joger, whatever you would like to call him, in the Pothole Dungeon. A level 53 combat with a max hit of 7. So not only do I need enough poison dynamite in my inventory to land a hit, I somehow need to account for enough food through recoiling. Okay, now that I'm thinking about it, all I need to do is kill the yogurt, and um, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to need to go there and death pile. That seems like the most realistic course of action, just because its max hit is a 7, and it has 60 HP. So if I don't poison it with poison dynamite, I'm kind of screwed damage-wise, because like I just can't out-eat that with only 10 HP. So I'm going to go there, I'm just going to see what happens. Um... If you know if I get a lucky poison that works, but if not, um, I'll just see how the fight goes and then possibly come back with a whole bunch more food death pile and try again. There's no way I forgot a tinderbox again. I'm going to scream. All right, no hits. That sucks. There's no fucking way I forgot a tinderbox again, dude. Oh my god. I don't care. I'm flinching it. I do not care. I can't stand this. <laughs> this is just crazy, dude. The amount of times I've done this is insane. I even forgot gear to do, uh, like, to light my poison dynamite to begin with. <laughs> God damn. You know what, I'll put it on, I'll put it on block. Just to be safe. Oh fuck, that's not good. This is just absurd. And then I get a genie on top of this? Whatever. Straight to Slayer. We have no time to mess around, dude. Let's go! It actually worked! <laughs> Dude! And shout out to the legend who's like, what is going on? Oh man. Oh, that's a good feeling. Thank God. We are here. Pirate Jackie, please go ahead and give us this nice little achievement lamp. Why, I, why can I never remember the words? Antique lamp. Oh, and you know what? The Karamja Gloves won. No, it, does, it doesn't matter. I'm a normie account. <laughs> I will never use it. Hey, another... Cosmetic, I guess. Let's rub our antique lamp. Straighten the Slayer. Confirm. For 1,000 Slayer XP. Giving us level 35. 
Next on the list is the Karen and Kebos Easy Diary. The most difficult task on this list is to kill a sand crab. Problem is that sand crabs have a lot of HP and are more likely to despawn because of it. So most likely we're just praying to get a poison in this situation. There's no way I forgot a fucking tinderbox again. Dude, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna fuck... <laughs> I'm gonna choke to death. Oh my god. Holy... Dude, you can't make this up. Oh my god, we got a poison. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. We just need to do damage. Do we get it? There we go. Oh my god, that was really not bad at all. The hard part of this task, killing a sand crab, is complete. Let's go! All tasks completed! Speak to Elise outside Karen Castle, so let's go over to Zarek's heart. Speak to Elise real quick, say yes, yes, I've done these amazing things. And that gives us an antique lamp, and you know what we're doing with it. Straight into Slayer. Two and a half thousand Slayer experience. Bringing us up to 36. And Arata's Blessing. Where does that bring us? Karend Woodland. Okay. Uh, we get three Karend Woodland teleports, right? Oh, right near the Woodcutting Guild. That works. The Lumbridge and Draenor Easy Diary requires us to kill two monsters. A cave bug and a zombie. Now what's interesting about this is that the cave bug has a 20 times regenerate. Meaning it's impossible to kill with recoils. Our only hope is genuinely to poison it and hope to hit a five. All right, that's the zombie down, and hey, a Ranar for it? Take that, any day of the week. Yes, I looked away for a second. Nice, nice, that's huge. See, these are actually like fun tasks that it makes it feel like they're designed for level three skillers to to try and do. I know that sounds dumb, but just the fact that you have to work around it, and it's like, oh, I need to hope for this one proc on the po on the poison dynamite to actually hit it. It makes it so much more entertaining. Like I'm having a great time doing this as much as I'm yelling and screaming and getting mad. I promise I'm having I'm having a decent time. Let's say that.
And just like that, we've completed all the tasks for the Lumbridge and Draenor Easy Diary. Now we just need to speak to Hatius Cassantis. Is this a pun? Because I actually have no clue. Is it hate us because I ain't us? Because they ain't us? Hate us because they ain't us. Okay. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Dude, this is hurting. Hate us because they ain't us. Right where we start off in Lumbridge. Wow. That, that is amazing. Yes, I would like a reward. We get the Explorer's Ring 1, which I read the effects before, but it looks like we can get some energy and cast some alchemy. But I doubt we'll be using that on this account. Most importantly, though, the Antique Lamp, straight into Slayer, giving us level 37 Slayer. We're so close to 40. This is actually crazy. And you know, while we're here, let's go ahead and take a look at our last diary steps. Oh, we were going to finish up the desert. Okay, let's go start off um, Iklorin's little helper and go from there. Oh my god, wait, do I have to open the sarcophagus? I don't know if I can do this if that's the case. Because I know from making my skiller in leagues that that'll give me strength XP. As long as it's below 51, you know, significantly, then we can do it. But hang on. Okay, from what I'm looking up, it says that in room one, the sarcoph- the sarcoph- oh my god, I can't talk. The sarcophagus will only give me 20 XP, so I guess we're gonna risk it. We're gonna risk, uh, the account. I doubt we're actually risking it, I'm sure it's fine, but hey, let's go ahead and do it. Please, no monsters. 20 XP, that's what we want to see. Good old 20. Good old 20. My god, dude, seriously? Is it because I'm one? All right. We're good. We're good. And after selling off these artifacts, all we need to do is talk to Jar at the Shanty Pass to claim our rewards. All right, hello, Jar. Nice to meet you. Don't think I've ever spoken to him before in my life. But there we go, we get the Desert Amulet 1, which gives us some sort of stuff. I'm sure they were just explaining it, but I shouldn't really have any use for it. And the Antique Lamp, straight into Slayer once again. 2,500. And we didn't get a level. Oh, I didn't like that at all. That was like, dude, that felt embarrassing. I didn't like that. Not one bit. The Varrock Easy Diary is the final one to complete, and for once, we don't have any monsters to kill. All we need to do is a little bit of running around town and we'll have this finished up in no time. Wow, I think that was the easiest achievement diary so far. The easiest, easy achievement diary. No shit, Billy. Oh my god. Oh man. All right, where is Toby? Come here, good sir. I got a bone to pick with you. I finished up all my achievements. Uh, what do I get? I get the Varrock Armor 1, a little bit of fashion scape. It does not look good. And as we all know, an antique lamp. Wonder where it's gonna go. Oh yeah, right in the Slayer. 2,500 more Slayer experience, bumping us up to level 38. We're so close to 40, oh my god. We've gained what? Eight levels? More than eight levels. I don't even know what we started with. Taking a look one more time, I know that we just did this. We were able to finish up one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight. Easy achievement diaries, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've already looked through and it's impossible to do any of the mediums just because they have like hard combat restrictions, so there's just no way to make that happen. 
Either way, I'm just pumped we were able to do this many. I mean, it looks nice. First off, you know, that's always great. We were able to go from, I think we started at 28 or something. So we went from 28 to 30 just with fines and then eventually going straight to 38 Slayer. And the reason this is so great is that anytime we get a genie lamp now, you know, we're getting 380 X XP compared to 250, whatever we were at, I really don't remember. But I'm definitely gonna wrap this episode up here. This one's been fun. It's uh, been a good break from just going through and grinding out some of these buyables. Um, I had a great time doing it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching because, hey, we're, we were all learning a whole lot here about how to kill these monsters. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead, give it a like. If you enjoyed me, like you, like I always say, hey, uh, give me a subscribe. If you like me, I'll like you. You know, it's a real uh, vicious cycle. It's great. Um, no, but really, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.